Mark Andre Amelin, have you been to the festival here before? Yes, uh, I was here once two years ago, and uh, I have such fond memories of it. I mean, I couldn't even begin to uh, to you know to to recite them. You know, they were just one marvel after the other. It was, it was really really wonderful. And this year you're doing lots and lots of different pieces. Tell me about some of the ones you're playing. I did some songs yesterday with Misha Burger Gosman, and we'll be doing more actually uh, later later on. And uh, she was actually actually absolutely marvelous to uh, to work with. Have you worked with uh, her before? I met her for the first time in this festival. Actually, I heard her name, of course, you know, and she's very very prominent. <laughs> Now, in your role as an accompanist, what's really struck me from watching you is your extraordinary sensitivity. How do you and Misha develop that between you? Who, who leads, who follows? It's been an interesting relationship. Um, I've worked with, with singers before, and, uh, but I've never encountered anyone who has such precise ideas of what she wants. Uh, and within that, I still wanted to be myself, of course. Uh, so it was quite a, quite a new experience because I'd never encountered any singers who were so specific. And how do you put your own piece across when you're working with someone who's so strong-minded? Uh, in this particular case, I, did, I, I, I just did it through my playing, really. You know, I didn't, uh, I, I didn't uh, discuss, you know, I just absorbed what she wanted because you know, she had done these pieces before and they were, I think they were all new to me. So lots and lots of pieces to, to learn for this festival. Yes. Um, I also had a kind of a new experience. I didn't know the Copeland Clarinet Concerto has a principal piano part, and I was roped into playing it. And I, I have to say that uh, although my feelings about Copeland's music aren't terribly hot, you know, at best, you know, I have to say that I kind of enjoyed this one. I think it's one of his better pieces. And the other ensemble pieces include the Mahler. Yes. On the opening yeah, the concert. Songs of, uh, Wayfarer. I mean, that, that, was, uh, that was just such a splendid atmosphere. You know? And, and uh, they were arranged for this little ensemble of ten players and voice by Schoenberg. And uh, I, I have to say he did a marvelous job of it. All the lines come out so beautifully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They certainly do. And do you find that playing chamber music helps you develop as a, as a solo player? Are I they two very separate things? I think everything helps everything. I mean, you can take all kinds of wonderful things, all kinds of elements, you know, from everything you do and apply it to other disciplines. That's the beauty of what we do. And you're playing some solo pieces too in the yeah, festival? Yeah, I'm playing actually three of them, which is uh, rather a lot, I suppose. Um, one is uh, one of the list Hungarian Rhapsodies, uh, number 13, actually. Um, then uh, a rather obscure piece by uh, a composer who was somewhat important, I think, in the development of 20th century music in America, Stefan Volpe, but who is very, very rarely, rarely played nowadays because uh, his music is really quite naughty and uh, very, very arduous. Uh, and the other piece is the Chopin Barcarol. Uh, I guess uh, we're celebrating the Chopin year. Uh, Roland Puntinen played some, played some pieces yesterday and uh, I would be as well. And what do you most enjoy about the experience in Risa? Uh, got an hour. <laughs> it is so refreshing uh, to be sort of reacquainted with a place like this from time to time. Because uh, I'm a city boy, really, and I, I tend to prefer cities. You know, but once in a while, something like this really awakens some things that uh, were dormant. And, you know, it's, and uh, somehow, I feel healthier when I'm here. It's really quite something I can't explain it. <laughs>